it's Tara here with Create Life Paper Words, and the video that I have for you today is part one of my 2015 reading list. So in July, I think it was, um, Kelly Perky had come out with uh, this reading list stamp set, um, and as well, you could buy uh, these little um, four by fours that I'm working on right now. I missed buying the stamp set the first time around. So when it came up again, for a reorder, um, I picked it up and then these little files got sent to me. So today I was busy getting them all printed off um, and I'll be cutting them out pretty soon. And in the meantime, um, I had Christine with the Teal Lime Press. Uh, she um, had done up a book, lo book lover's kit as well. So it included one of these cut files. Um, and I don't have a a silhouette or anything like that. So I had my friend uh, cut it out for me. Um, and she just did it on some plain white cardstock. Um, and then all I did was I cut off the edging and I used a lot of tape runner to attach that. Um, really, really happy with how this turned out. It's on a 4x4 uh, We Are Memory Keepers Instagram gold album. Um, and as you can see, I'm doing some busy work right now. So what I had done originally was I opened up my Project Life app and any of the books that I had read um, since the beginning of January, I took screenshots of, put them into my Project Life app, into the collages part. Um, I did, uh, I believe it was the 6x8 in the, in the 4x4s, um, sent them to the computer and then printed them all off. So right now I have 28 uh, book titles um, and then I printed off 16 of those reading list cards and right here I have, uh, I think I have 12 4x4s in white um, and I'm just going to vary things up and I'm going to mix them up a little bit. So I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do this to begin with um, but I ended up uh, deciding to do... Um, the matching book cover to, of course, the reading list page that I'm going to do a little bit of a review on and what I read. Um, I did decide, first of all, that I sort of needed a, a title page um, to start with. So that's where I am uh, I did a little bit of stamping on there, and that little stamp is from Studio Calico, one of their add-ons. Um, I used some of my alphas in that beautiful coral color, um, put 2015, and then above it, it says on my shelf. So that'll just be the little intro page. And then I backed, um, one of the book covers on the back of that. And then I'm going to start working on all of the, uh, little reviews. So I've sped this up quite a bit. Um, and I'm only going to show you about six of them because there are 28 and no one really wants to see that. So um, I've got some music for this and bear with me um, if you want to watch this part. Now, because I have so many um, cards that are going into this album, I opted not to put them into plastic sleeves, mainly because it's very hard to find the 4x4s I find. 
Um, so what I'm doing instead is I'm making little tabs that I can hole punch because I don't want to hole punch through the 4x4 cards or the book cover cards. So I just took out my three hole punch um, and then I realized that you can actually move the where the little holes are. So I'm just trying right now to figure out uh, where I need my holes set at so that um, they line up properly. Um, and once I figure that out, um, I just use scraps of white paper and I cut them out um, to about uh, one and a half inches wide um, and then I hole punch them and then I use my um, Stampin' Up little board thing um, just to make the corners sort of rounded looking um, and then I stick them in between the two. And so now I'm just sort of going through, um, I'd added a couple extra um, cards to the front um, and you'll be able to see those. I'll do a share um, of this right after. Um, and then I added a couple things to the back. Um, I'm not done this yet um, because it is still September so we have a couple months to go. I found this cute little glassine bag that I had in my stash and I thought it'd be fun to add that to the back um, and then I can just store all my little extras that I know I want to use but haven't used yet. Um, and then I added these two cards from the T-Line Press to the very beginning as well. So here is the share for it. 